British Columbia teacher Casey Minot is teaching students at Delta Secondary School how to turn old cars into electric ones. We're removing the mid-cross member. So we're removing this guy. And I'm not anti-combustion. I'm not anti-fuels. I think everybody, everything serves a purpose. But I'm definitely pro. Uh, I'm pro interesting technology. That's and again, electric motors are super powerful with all their torque at zero RPM. I mean, you know, the combustion engine is uh, way less efficient than a toaster. You know, when you look at a combustion engine, it's about 25 to 20 percent efficient with the energy that we give it. A toaster is like 80 to 90 percent efficient, considering you put electricity in, it puts it all out in heat. So electric vehicles, by nature, are more efficient, and they will start to do the job. And if the electric car goes mainstream, Minot and his students will be able to say that they blazed the trail. Uh, Canada's only, well, first and only electric drag race and drag build. Uh, the, uh, you know, when you say the only one in Canada, and people are like, well, you better be careful about that statement. And I said, well, you know what, according to NEDRA, who's the regulatory body for electric drag racing, um, yeah, we're it. We're the only one. We're the only Canadian record ever to be set in history. So that's, uh, that's some pretty cool stuff for an accomplishment of any adult. You know, or any organization, but you know, especially for a high school, uh, working with uh, teenagers and students, it's uh, it's pretty impressive. The thing that I'm trying to accomplish in the program with the students is showing them that you need to think outside of the box, and and I mean way outside of the box.